Good morning guys. It is officially January 6th. I have not vlogged since vlogmas ended and I'm so sorry. Um, if you guys have been following me you know. First I had an eyelash extension reaction. <laughs> then uh, right after they healed they're still a little bit itchy but um, they're pretty much back to normal. <laughs> now I have a really bad cold. <laughs> you can probably hear it. Um, it happened yesterday. I don't know. This is not a great way to start the vlog. Let's start over. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not going to pretend to be super cheery because that's just not me and I'm struggling. So, <laughs> I thought I would vlog today um, just because I haven't in a really long time and I kind of wanted to just hang out with you guys and do a vlog. Also, who else breaks out so bad when they get a cold? My skin has been golden, and then the second I got sick yesterday, I woke up with so many pimples. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I feel like that happens to a lot of people. It's germs or something, I don't know, but I woke up with so many pimples yesterday when I woke up just super sick. So um, anyway, I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup and kind of do like a naturally look. Obviously, I don't really wanna put on a lot of makeup. Um, but I miss putting on makeup so much while I had my eye trauma. So I just wanted to do like a natural get ready with me. Before we head out, I'm going to go grab some lunch with Gabby. And we're going to go see that new Ryan Gosling Emma Stone movie. And yeah, so I thought I would take you guys along. Let me see. Where can I prop you up? Alright, somehow I always get very creative and find a way to put you up. That Christmas tree is so sad. Let me turn it on. That's a little bit more happy. I still need to take down the Christmas decorations in the house because you know when you just don't want to because it's still really festive but like you're bordering on crazy. Let, let me know if you guys have taken yours down. So I'm going to start with my Mario Badescu rose water spray by kind of just using that to settle down. People were asking me if this was breaking me out. I didn't have a problem with it before my eye issue. I had to kind of adapt to it at first. Um, maybe I need to adapt to it again because I took a little hiatus from makeup. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I can't help but think maybe I picked up this cold um, when I went to the doctor to get my eyes fixed. <laughs> When I had the eye problem, maybe I picked up a cold. I don't know. How cute is this sweater? It says love. It's from uh, Torrid. It's just super cute. I would size up on it though. I got a two and it's like very fitted. I thought it was going to be like baggy. <sighs> my nose is running. I might need tissues. I might need a tissue. So I'm just going to be using my Milani Prime Shield. Um, the other day I actually posted my 2016 beauty favorites and this was my favorite primer of the year. Like, oh my god, if you're oily, it's life-changing. I just went and washed my hands and it washed my beauty blender. I've been trying to wash my beauty blender every morning um, to be better for the skin. I don't know. I don't know why I'm breaking out. I do find that when I have a cold, though, I always break out. Guys, it snowed. I didn't know it was going to snow. <laughs> Alan just went to work. And like, I didn't even realize, I looked out the window and I was like, did you know, did you know that it snowed? Sorry. You know when you have like cold brain, like major cold brain right now? I'm going to use my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. This is also a favorite. I don't think I put this in the video though. I know you guys love when these videos are super long, so I'll try not to cut too much out. <clears throat> Yesterday I had such cold brain though. Actually, <laughs> I woke up with the cold yesterday and I had to go to a meeting in Boston. I'm going to use this too. I'm going to use the matte finish setting spray from NYX in advance. Because I get, I feel like I get more oily when I'm sick too. It's gross, I know. Um, but anyway, I had to go to a meeting out in Boston and I had major cold brain. And when I went to the receptionist, she asked me who I was meeting with. And I said the wrong name. And she was like, oh, um, I don't know any... <laughs> I was like, oh my god, <laughs> such a brain fart. Okay, I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay today, in the color 220. This was also in my favorites. If you want to watch that, um, I'll link it down below. This is like the best drugstore foundation in my opinion. 
It reminds me of like the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it also reminds me of uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Ugh, that giant pimple is literally stressing me out. It's stressing me out! So as you guys know, I've been like, I don't know if you know this, but like I have been completely and utterly obsessed with podcasts lately. Like, I don't listen to music anymore. <laughs> I only listen to podcasts. It's so weird. I don't know if you can see the mess that is my floor behind you. I filmed a giant <clears throat> drugstore, not drugstore, what? I filmed a giant fashion haul the other day and I haven't cleaned up since because I got sick and I've just been not feeling like cleaning. Uh, what was I saying before? Podcasts. Like ever since I found out that Joe Santagato has a podcast, and I've been listening to Shane's forever. I'm obsessed. And then I just started following the Jenna and Julian podcast. And I'm really loving that too. Comment down below your favorite podcast on SoundCloud. Because I'm completely and utterly obsessed with podcasts now. I know this looks too pale, but trust me, it's not. I'm pale. I'm really pale. Especially right now. I was supposed to go to Florida this week. But, uh... The eye thing had happened. So we rescheduled to the beginning of March. It's okay. My family understands. Um, stuff happens. It's all right. Some of you guys were telling me to still go. But my eyes are even still a little itchy now. I didn't put contacts in. So I'd rather just wait. Don't worry. I got, I got the clear on the makeup too. My doctor said it was fine. Because they look normal. They're not... Uh, red or really itchy. Well, they're kind of itchy, but not all the time. But they're not swollen at all anymore. They're not red. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like my eyes even get itchy when I get a cold. So anyway, I've been loving the podcast so much. Like, I already, I've been listening for kind of a while with Joe and Shane, but uh, I went back and like binged on their super old podcast. Because I feel like I drive a lot into the city to see my mom or go to a meeting. Uh, so I've just been like listening non-stop to their podcasts. So yeah, please let me know your favorites because I'm just so in love. I'm so in love. There's something calming about listening to people talk rather than music. I don't know if I'm the only one who's like this. Let me know. But if you have anxiety, sometimes I feel like music can either really like soothe anxiety or it can really kind of add to anxiety. And I know this is a really weird conversation. Oh, and I'm going out tonight. Okay. That just made me realize, like, I can always touch up later. Um, it's one of mine and Alan's friends' birthdays. We're going out to dinner all together. Uh, alright. <laughs> I forgot about that for, like, one second. I'm gonna have to touch up later. Maybe we'll do like a day to night transformation look later. Like I'm a straight ghost right now. All right, I'm gonna use my Airspun Translucent Powder, which was also a favorite of 2016. So every day with my Beauty Blender, I just like do the concealer and then right after I'll take powder and bake with it and then I'll just wash the Beauty Blender uh, right after or the next morning so it's ready. But like it's just so, I feel like everything just sits better when you use it like that and use it damp. <sighs> Alright, eyebrows. Let's do the eyebrows. You guys can see like my newest <laughs> eyebrow routine. <laughs> no, everyone has been telling me they love my eyebrows lately and it's out of pure laziness. Okay, I don't have that much time. <laughs> I'm always so late to pick up Gabby. Like it's, <laughs> I don't know what it is about hanging out with her. I'm just, I'm always late. So I'm gonna, I still have like 20 minutes. All right, it's fine. <laughs> I'm already dressed. My hair is still straight from yesterday, whatever. So I'm gonna use the Hourglass um, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the color Warm Blonde. This was a favorite of 2016 as well. I'm gonna use this little mirror because I don't have my contacts in. Therefore I'm blind without my glasses. So. This is a lazy girl's eyebrow routine. So, I just kind of like do strokes like they always say to do. Oh god. Da, da, da. I don't really like think too much about it. I kind of just like derp through life. Derp, derp, derp. 
Oh, getting a little crazy. <laughs> derp, derp, derp. Okay, so like up close, that looks terrible, I promise you. So, lazy girl, like that took like what, 10 seconds? <laughs> lazy girl guide, grab some skin toned concealer and a brush and make your eyebrow perfect. <laughs> I'm just saying like how much easier is that than actually really putting in effort? <laughs> like, trust me, when I'm like going out and like trying to look perfect or whatever, not perfect, you know what I mean? I'll really try. But like that's a perfect eyebrow. <laughs> and it's so much easier than like really putting in that effort. <laughs> I know I probably sound crazy, but this has been like my go-to brow method lately, and everyone's been asking about it. Like my mom had asked me yesterday and I was like, um, <laughs> honestly, do you really want to know? Because I'm just lazy as heck. Okay, and then once the brows are done, I use my brow gel from the eyebrow gal. I mean, trust me, I know they're not perfect, but lazy day, lazy day eyebrows. I'm just saying it saves a lot of time and they don't look awful. Okay, let's take off our little baking powder. I always say baking powder and it's like, oh my God, are we cooking? No, we're not, we're not cooking. I don't feel free until I set my whole face with powder because I'm like liquidy and I'm like, no, I don't want to feel liquidy. Quote of 2016, okay. My nose is running again. Dang it! <laughs> I'm gonna need to go buy something to like dry me up because I hate like a drippy runny nose. It's annoying. I'm sorry if I'm whiny. I'll try not to whine anymore. Okay. Bronzy bronze. Give some life to my dead skin. Um, okay, so lately, I'm not gonna lie, I've been using this one like almost every day. It's the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmable Bronzer. It's waterproof. I just feel like it has a really nice long wear and a nice color too. Really need to bronze up. I'm looking like a ghost. I can't stop the feeling when you dance, dance, dance. Okay. A little bit more bronzy. A little bit. Um, okay. And because I just feel like I can't not add a tiny contour. I'm going to use the MAC Contour Kit in light. I feel like once I put the bronzer on, then I just think, like, why not add a cooler shade? You know what I'm saying? Mm, I have a new highlighter to show you. That's, like, super cheap. Okay, but let's do blush first. I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Fearless Blush. So cute. So cute, it's called Fearless. Okay, so my favorite highlighter right now, is this the brush I've been using? No. You know, like, <laughs> you accidentally mix up your brush of bronzer and highlight, okay. So I got sent a bunch of e.l.f. stuff the other day. The Illuminating Palette is so good. It's so pigmented. They also sent this. This is um, the baked bronzer. I don't like it, but I love this illuminating palette. The top two colors here, if you're more fair, are gorgeous. I'm sure these would look gorgeous on like deeper skin tones. Um, but the top two, I've been combining, and they're stunning. They're gorgeous, especially this pinkish one. Oh my god. I'm so in love. I hope it translates on camera because it's just so stunning. Oh my god! So pretty. Little on my nose. It's so gorgeous, and I'm, I don't know how much it would be at the store, but I'm sure it won't be that much. Okay, so eyes, let's do our eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face first um, before I do my eyes with the NYX again. Hmm. Refreshing. 
So like always, I'm going to go really simple on the eyes and use my favorite Tarlet in Bloom. This is also on my 2016 favorites. This is my favorite palette of the year by far. I get a ton of use out of this. I love the big mirror. Um, so I'm going to take Sweetheart, which is this like pinky rose color right in the crease. This is like kind of my go-to everyday color when I want something with a little bit more pigment than like a taupe. I don't know where I got this brush, but it's my favorite crease brush. I want to say it came in like a boxy charm or something. It has no <laughs> words or numbers or anything on it. Um, oh wait, yes it does. Mally. M-A-L-L-Y. That's all that's on it. It's the best crease brush I've ever used. <laughs> if you guys can find it, I highly recommend. It's so good. Good old boxy charm. Always. Always delivering, hashtag not spawns. This is an awesome shade if you have like a little bit of green in your eyes. And then I just take Funny Girl, which is a shimmery nude, and I put that on with my finger right on the lid. This is like such a pretty, soft, everyday combo, but it's a little less basic than what I usually do, like a matte white and a matte taupe. Especially because I'm wearing a blush top. It's just really soft and pretty. Simple. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think now I'm just going to throw on some lashes. Really simple lashes and I'll be right back. Yeah. Then I'm going to put on my last pair of my Ardell Wispies. I think that will be just enough. Okay, I just finished throwing on my lashes and my lipstick. I'm wearing my favorite lipstick, another favorite that was in the video. Um, the Meet Matt Hughes from The Bomb in Committed. It hasn't really dried yet, but it's a really pretty, like, peachy nude. Look at all the snow outside. Okay, so I gotta hit the road, Jack. Look at all the snow. All right, so we just got some lunch. Gabby got a little, what is that? What is that? That looks really good. Barbecue chicken salad. That looks really good, I should've got that. And then an avocado melt. I just got some soup and bread because it's cozy. Okay guys, we just got out of the movie. So, first bad, of all. Bad, bad, <laughs> It's a musical. Gabby didn't know it was a musical. I didn't Did you know? know? No. Thank you. Thank you, yep. Gabby didn't know it was a musical. I didn't know it was a musical either. Like the first two minutes, what are they? We heard one song where we looked at each other and go, is this a, is this a musical? <laughs> um, so actually, I the second I found out it was a musical, I didn't expect to like it. I actually no. really liked it. I thought I ended up liking it, but I really didn't. It was the opposite, because I kind of went into it not really knowing if I'd I like it. I crazy eyes on this video, by the way, because it's really bright, and I'm like looking into this camera. Don't worry about it. They don't care. It's a judge-free zone. They never. <laughs> See, I actually really liked it. Did you really? I did. I really liked it. Yes, I did really like it. She's lying. No, I'm not. I was entranced. I was like, no. but it was one of those movies though that I can't watch again because I got too emotionally invested. It hurt me, Gabby. No, it just it was bad. I hated it. And I I said that on post beach with I don't know what it was. And Ryan Gosling was in it, and I still hated it. Oh, he was fine. His smile can just knock me off my feet. I know, but it just I don't know. She didn't like it. I liked it. It reminded me of like a 500 Days of Summer vibe. I want to see that movie and I feel like I've never seen that movie. And you're probably not going to like it because it gives me a very similar but vibe But is it a musical? Like, no. Because every dramatic part of the movie when they were like going through things became a song. That's why you didn't like and it. And it wasn't even super good song. It wasn't like songs like I knew or like I wanted like... to sing to. <laughs> it was like... It was like bad. Okay, because you know what? I'll use a Disney reference. I liked like Camp Rock High School Musical. I didn't like this. You're comparing this to high school freaking musical. She's comparing La La Land. Oh my god, so funny. Um, hey, there were there was Zac Efron in no, that I one. Felt like, oh, High School Musical three is the best one because Zac Efron's not like twelve. Um, <laughs> I felt like High School Musical. High School Musical. I felt like this mo this movie La La Land had me in like a deep like a black hole though like once you're in it you're like in it and then like no I just wanted to end the whole time that's how yeah 
And I never liked that with movies. I know. I, I really wanted I, it to I've end. only left a movie once early in my whole life, and it was like a really bad Jim Carrey one. And I love Jim Carrey. <laughs> was it Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler? I don't know. <laughs> there was one movie I didn't like. One movie. I can't remember it. Oh, I left. What did I leave? Oh, what's that? Transformers? Because I never watched any of the Transformer movies, and I went when I was in middle school. I don't know why you even With tried. my friends. <laughs> no, I went with my friends, and I was sitting on the floor because it was so packed in there. Oh and God. we left, and I bought flip flops from Old Navy for a dollar. <laughs> Story then, time with Gabby. And then that was only me and a couple of my friends left, and then everyone else actually got kicked out after we left. Story time with Gabby. And I was like in seventh grade. So. so I mean, the fact that you even remember that story is pretty impressive. Anyway. Do you not remember things from seventh grade? Not really. My life's a blur after eighth, from like eighth grade. This is seventh grade, you should. No, seventh grade was bad too. I don't know. Anyway, Gabby hated it. She's going to work. Yeah. Gonna that's, wait some tables. That's all she wrote. All right, guys. So I just got home to a bunch of packages. It's so cold. Um, for all my fellow like makeup ladies out there, I'm sure you guys have the same struggle. Like I've had to blow my nose, and my makeup looks terrible. I'm probably just gonna redo it um, for tonight because I also stopped and bought some cold medicine. I went and picked up. Some NyQuil Severe, this stuff helps me sleep so much when I have a bad cold. And some Tylenol, cold for during the day. Got some letters. So I got my BoxyCharm in for January. So once I get Ipsy in, I will film that. I got something from Amazon. I don't know what I ordered from Amazon. Oh, lashes. Back when, um... <laughs> When my eyes were like bad, I was like, I'm gonna order some lashes. Okay. Oh, these look so wispy. Look at that. They're from Arison Lashes. I love the packaging on this. Let's open them. Yeah, I was looking at lashes on Amazon back when this was all going down. And I was like, when I'm better, I'm gonna want lashes. <sighs> Treat yourself. This case is incredible. I think I was drawn to these because they said you can wear them for like a month or something. Oh my god, these are beautiful. It's like, look at that packaging. And like, look at that wispiness. Can you like see how 3D that is? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited to wear those. Okay, so. Next we have something from Laura Geller. I got so much fun new stuff um, for holiday PR, so I'm really excited to like film some makeup looks and stuff and try out this new stuff. So, um, from Laura Geller, Alexandra, excited to introduce you to the brand. Uh, wanted you to be the first to try our latest foundation. Please feel free to start sharing with your audience and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Joy. So, okay, I hope this is the right color. That's the only issue when they send foundations. Like, usually it's kind of tricky. I'm always so much paler than people think. Like, I am not tan. I think I might look tan on camera. I'm not. Um, so this is the color medium. So... We're just gonna pray that it works. It's the Laura Geller Cover Lock Cream Foundation. Create the smooth, even complexion you crave with true full coverage. I like that. <laughs> this vitamin enriched formula effortlessly blends away discoloration scars, even tattoos without locking age, while locking out age pollutants and environmental stressors for all day flawless coverage. Sorry, I can't talk. This sounds great. I'm really, really excited. We should definitely do a first impression on this. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, so it looks like this. If that's the color, then we are shit out of luck. Let's just do a little bit of the color on my hand. Oh no, this is way too dark. Dang it, why does everyone think I'm tan? I need like the fairest shade most of the time. Like look how dark that is. It's like straight orange. Oh man. Well, she gave me her email. I feel bad to like waste product though. And like all my, <laughs> all my friends are just as pale as I am. Except in the summer. Like I could make that work in the summer, but that's, that's really, really dark. Um, all right. That's a bummer. I'm really excited to try it. I'll send her an email real quick and see if she wants me to like send that back. I don't know. All right. And then lastly, we have a package from Origins. Oh my God. 
and like this box was inside the package. It smells very good. It's so pretty. This box is incredible. Like it's like a straight box. Thank you for being you. I'm so excited. This smells so good. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Let's see. Okay, so we have from Origins the Clean Energy Gentle Cleansing Oil. Looks like this. I'm not very familiar with Origins products, so if you guys have any favorites or you like any of these, let me know. It smells really good. Gentle Cleansing Oil. Lightweight, high-tech, hybrid formula. Okay. Let your skin breathe. Massage on with fingertips. Massage onto dry skin with fingertips. Add warm water to make it into a milky lotion and then remove with a cleansing cloth. I'll definitely try this and we'll see if it breaks me out. Uh, then we have their Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and de-puff. Cute little jar. I'm um, assuming you can use it morning. Oh, gently apply in the morning as needed. Okay. I love eye cream. Y'all know this. And next we have the Make a Difference Plus Rejuvenating Moisturizer. Apply morning and at night. I'm always down to try a new moisturizer. I'm not loving the one I have right now. Why do I want to smell everything? That smells good. Um, so maybe we'll try out this moisturizer next and I'll try it for like a week and we'll see how my skin does. Um, if it breaks out like crazy or not. And then, ooh, 24 Blackbirds Handmade Artisan Chocolates. This was on top. Fine drinking chocolate. This must be like hot cocoa. Makes two to four servings. Oh my God, it's like straight. Oh my God, I'm so fascinated by this. That's so cool, we'll have to play with that. Um, then also in here, a high potency night amins, oh like vitamins, night amins, skin refining oil. Apply at bedtime. Follow with your night cream, okay. Well, oil, I'm kind of iffy with oil, but we'll try it. And then we have their ginger savory bath bar. Thank you so much Origins for sending all this stuff. Like, I'm really excited to try all of it. I've heard great things about Origins, and since I'm a little bit more um, sensitive, I'm gonna assume that, like, it won't irritate my skin. I need to take this, because I'm achy as hell. <laughs> uh, my body is so achy. Sorry, I really don't mean to be a whiny. So yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, and then I have the boxy charm, but like I said, when I get my Ipsy bag, I'll film them both together. So yeah, uh, what time is it? Four o'clock, we're not going out until eight. And Alan works at 7 till 7.30, so I think I'm just gonna relax. I have a lot of kind of tidying up to do around the house, like a leftover from New Year's. <laughs> um, not a lot, just a little bit. So I might just kind of do a little bit of cleaning and just lay down um, and chill out for a little bit, let my body rest. I cannot get this open. All right guys, so <laughs> I'm back in my office now. Who else has the worst <laughs> makeup when they have a cold? It's 6.30, um, I just blow, <laughs> blowed, I was gonna say blowed my nose, oh my god. No, like cold brain is so real. Um, I just blew my nose <laughs> and like, I already had been blowing my nose so like all of this is just gone. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like transform um, into daytime, <laughs> daytime to nighttime. Uh, so let's see, first of all, our skin is a hot mess, mostly just around here, so that's good. Um, we're still looking pretty good on the forehead and whatnot. I need to pick up more of my MAC Studio Fix. That's like my go-to touch-up powder, but I'm going to use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, um, which I don't even have much left of. God, I'm like out of all my compact powders now that I'm like looking in my drawer. All I have is like translucent. So I guess we're just gonna have to scrape some out of here. Uh, wow, there's like none left, oh my God. And I'm just gonna kind of touch up my face a little bit. And I typically wear glasses when I'm sick and I'm wearing glasses today so like all of this makeup is gone. So I still have my beauty blender from earlier that's still a little bit damp. But um, I found a few things that kind of layer 
okay on the skin without looking like cakey. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer uh, and just kind of touch up any red areas that have gotten a little out of hand. It's weird, I took uh, medicine back when I got home a few hours ago. I'm still like so icky with chills. I have the heat on so high and I'm usually the one who has the heat on like low. So I'm usually always hot. But I'm freezing. I hate being cold. I'm not used to being cold. <laughs> okay. And all my lipstick is off. Everything is off. Yeah, the LA Girl Concealer honestly layers pretty well. My nose is a mess. And like, I am not in the mood to literally take off my makeup <laughs> and redo my whole face. So we're just making it work, y'all. We just making it work. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I might like transform our eyes into more of a night look as well. But yeah, I forgot to say earlier, if you guys saw La La Land, let me know what you thought. Um, ooh, I have to sneeze. Phew, <laughs> oh God. That, when you sneeze, that's when you know you have to blow your nose too. And it's like, oh, I just touched up my nose. Why am I trying? Um, I'm, I don't have plans tomorrow. I'm probably just not gonna wear makeup tomorrow. Oh, I have to film. I have some stuff I have to film tomorrow. All right. So that's good. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, my NYX finishing powder. Set it, don't fret it. Is this the, is this the colored one? I want the colored one. Set that. sure everything okay that just adds some really nice coverage I highly recommend that powder like look how how much better that is okay so now let's go ahead and darken up our eyes a little bit since we're going into nighttime uh, I don't have my glasses on so I'm like hello <laughs> I am blind. I'm looking for, looking for one brush. Do you see how I just drop stuff and I don't care? All right, so I'm gonna take my pencil brush from Tish Beauty, and I think I'm gonna use the color Rebel and Leader, like the darker kind of rosy colors, and I'm just gonna like pop that in my crease. Can't see that much anyway with these lashes on. Oh, I love these lashes so much. And a little bit on the bottom. And blendy blend. That's why I love this palette, it's effortless. And I took a little bit more of that deeper color on the outer. Let me know if you like how this vlog is set up. A little bit more of like a chill get ready with me rather than like my usual get ready with me let me know if this is okay with you um, if you liked it and I'm gonna take my ivory cella highlighter and put that in my waterline keep it open and we need some more mascara this was my favorite mascara as well. Of 2016. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think we need a little bit more uh, highlighter in the inner corner as well because you kind of lose that over the span of the day. So I'm gonna take my Flexitarian by ColourPop which was a favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this. I just dropped a chunk, okay. Like look at that, you beam from miles away. Especially at nighttime, I feel like it's such a pretty eye-opening look. And I think I'm gonna put my hair down as well. Oh, my body is aching right now, Jesus. Like my 
back. Just, ooh, it's exhausting. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just film tomorrow and kind of rest a little bit. That'll be good. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take my Anastasia contour kit and take the banana powder. I love touching up with this at the end of the day. If I'm going out, I just take the banana powder and um, bring it right up under the eye. And I don't know if you can see, I just feel like it really helps to brighten and uh, kind of bring some lightness back to the vase, especially after you kind of touch up. A little bit below the contour. And I feel like I lost most of my highlight too. I'm just gonna use uh, my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. Brighten that up. What's your favorite kind of brush to highlight? Like sometimes I use a fan brush, sometimes I use a stipple brush. I feel like I have no favorite. And I'd love to know what you guys use. I feel like I want to add more blush too. I'm just adding everything. No cares in the world. Um, I'll take a more subtle blush, my Milani Rose Blush here. Just a little. So I think we're good on the skin and the eyes. Just need to do our lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my lippy chapstick from Drunk Elephant, which is my fave. So hydrating and I've been really loving this color especially with this like kind of eye look I have this is the ColourPop ultra satin lip in the color dopey it's like a perfect blushy like rosy pink and it's actually I love their ultra satin lips it sounds very sponsored um, I've been dabbling more in their ultra satin lip lately because I feel like it's very similar to the ultra matte but it doesn't dry out your lips and it stays a little bit more you know, satiny instead of matte. I actually like love this formula, so let's put it on. And I'll do a quick little cleanup. And here's our little makeup look for tonight. My mom just texted me. <laughs> I want to see what she said, but I can't. Oh my god, it was a lot of swearing. So here's our night look. I feel like I look better than I did earlier. So, I can't decide if I want to take my hair down. That just seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished getting ready. I threw on this choker from Lovesick. This crushed velvet top is from Lovesick. I don't know if I'm going to wear it. I did it for Instagram. <laughs> so, um, I curled my hair. I feel like I'm losing volume here. Um, I curled my hair with my new me Titan wand with the largest barrel. I want to say it's an inch and a half. Um, perfect for beachy waves it's really easy to do it literally takes a few minutes I did a tutorial um, on the beachy waves if you want to check that out um, but yeah hello there is light up here good morning guys it is now the next morning where can I prop you so it is now Saturday January 7th it is 11 a.m. still not feeling great I almost feel like my cold is more Intense today, but thank you, hashtag not sponsored to NyQuil for helping me sleep. The NyQuil Severe, if you have like a runny nose, um, that's like the only thing that like really, it has something in it I think that stops um, runny nose. So anyway, I just took a shower and threw on um, very like simple makeup. Just like basically skin, brows, and lashes. Uh, not lashes, like mascara. <clears throat> so, I'm going to blow dry my hair. And I'm really excited for you guys to see this hair video I have coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, I basically did like a two-week restorative process. And um, I'm going to do a whole video on it. Because you guys know my hair has been through a lot over the last year. <laughs> so I ended up filming um, and working on this really cool project with uh, Living Proof. So that's going to come up soon. I love Living Proof products. So... I'm going to blow dry my hair, and it's actually supposed to snow today. It snowed yesterday a little bit, like I think I said that yesterday. But today we're going to actually get like a real um, snowstorm. Alan's at work right now. Sorry I never ended up vlogging last night. Why don't I pick the camera up if I'm still here? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It says it's supposed to start snowing 
heavily at noon and it's 11.08 so I should probably like really quickly blow dry my hair um, and I'm supposed to go, supposed to, I'm going to go buy some stuff to make dinner tonight since we're probably not going to be leaving the house and maybe just some snackies for um, tonight and tomorrow. I really wanted to make some more uh, chickpeas, like a healthy little snack. I also wanted to make some homemade sweet potato fries. I saw this really yummy recipe on uh I think it was Tasty's page. I think they they had they had like vegetable fries four ways. And they had um, sweet potato. They like, you know, made them look like french fries with olive oil and baked them. And then they had like a Greek yogurt dip with it. And that's like really healthy alternative. I'm also just putting on some hand cream. I got this in uh, BoxyCharm or FabFitFun. I don't know. It's the Lather AHA hand cream with evening primrose. This stuff is so hydrating and my hands are so dry. Last night we all ended up going to Olive Garden and I was trying to like get the lighter fare. I got the garlic rosemary chicken. It was on the like healthy section of the menu and it wasn't bad but like you know when everyone else is eating pasta you kind of want pasta. Oh my god you know it just popped into my head because I'm about to go to the grocery store before the snowstorm. Do you guys remember that video of that guy where it's like, I gotta go get the milk and the bread. The milk and the bread. I love that guy. I think I follow him on Facebook. Um, so I just threw in some little French braids um, because I didn't feel like blow drying my whole head. My mom just texted me. Peter texted me. Literally like the only two people I talk to consistently. Um, <clears throat> I need some shoes. It's starting to snow I can see it out there so I don't want to wear anything where I'm gonna slip your girl is prone to slipping I am oh my voice just went away <clears throat> I'm all geared up um, I'll get a lot of questions on this super cute coat all the time it's from Primark most of my wardrobes kind of from Primark now it's bad um, and then all of the like zippers and accents on it are rose gold so I love that my friend Abby gave me the scarf for Christmas um, so yeah, and I just threw on some sneakers. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall. Let's let's get out of here, shall we? Shall we? Leave that light on. I'm only gonna be gone for a little while. Okay. Light off. Christmas tree is still up. I know I have a problem. So guys, I have been in traffic forever. I just left the store and um the traffic is absolutely awful because it's like really snowing now. Um, so I'm glad I left when I did, but like now it's like legit snowing. Um, and I've been like sitting at the same red light forever because everyone's just going really slow. The roads are really, really bad right now. I'm at, I'm sitting at in a stoplight, so don't worry. I'm not I'm not driving or anything, but uh, the roads are really bad and the snow is really coming down. And you know, like I think that. I, if I'm not mistaken, in driver's school, I feel like they said the first hour of snow is the most dangerous because it like sticks a certain way or something. I don't know. But I bought a bunch of groceries for, um, for the next couple days. I bought some dinner stuff. Blueberries were on sale. Yes. I got some new tea I'm excited to try. I have become such a tea freak, which is shocking, I know. Um, I used to like hate tea so much, but I got the Tazo Refreshment. Oh, bitch, you are just, oh my Lanta. Oh, queen, you're crazy. Oh my God. This woman is squeezing between me and the car in front of me to cut across. Oh, that was a genuine reaction. I'm gonna leave that in there because that just scared the crap out of me. Can't wait to watch that back. Um, people need to be careful. This light is taking forever. What was I saying? Tea. I love mint tea. Anything like minty, so good. Okay, my light is green. Let's go home. All right, guys, I just got home. Just braved the snow. It took like 45 minutes to get home and it's like a 15 minute ride. Um, so I made it, I made it. I thought I'd do a little Target haul because I ended up just going to Target because we needed a few like random things that I couldn't get at like the grocery store. Okay, don't know where to put my coat. It's going on the floor for now. Also, I've been trying to wear sports bras when, like, I don't need to wear a regular bra. TMI, I know, but, like, I was reading this article about how bad bras are for your breasts, so. <laughs> so 
Side note, let's see how many steps we got. Almost 2,000. Not great, not bad. I'm trying to get 10,000 steps a day. Bag number one, I got Alan's coffee. He loves the French vanilla from Dunkin' Donuts, and it was on sale. Um, these are the blueberries that were on sale as well. I want to say it was 2 or $3 for the pint. Um, like a dollar off or something. Not amazing, but not terrible. And I love blueberries. I also picked up just a few bananas, um, which got a little beaten up on the walk here. Um, I also picked up so the sweet potatoes that I wanted to uh, cook with and make like homemade fries. I forgot to get Greek yogurt, but it'll be fine. Um, I also picked up chicken breast. Alan's probably going to cook us some dinner tonight. He told me to pick up chicken breast. Um, I also picked up, this is the tea that I got, the Tazo. Tazo? Tazo? How do you say that? Uh, refreshment tea. I'm probably going to have some of that later. And it's caffeine free and I think it'll be really like soothing before bed. Um, it is an invigorating herbal fusion of peppermint and spearmint with a pinch of tarragon. I think that sounds incredible. Uh, I also picked up some more gummy vitamins. You guys know Ollie is my favorite brand to get gummy vitamins. Um, so, for a while, you guys know I was using the um, Undeniable Beauty, and everyone was like asking me how I got my hair to grow so fast. And that, that, those work. My hair was growing like wild fire, like weeds. Um, <laughs> I know this is so cheesy, but I stopped. I stopped taking them because they were making my hair grow too fast. I'm trying to keep it like kind of short. I know that sounds crazy. Uh, so I ended up just switching over to their superfoods multivitamin. I have tried their this before. It tastes kind of like not great. It's elderberry flavor, but I love that it's like superfoods. Um, because as you guys know, I don't I like fruit a lot, but I'm not a big vegetable person. So um, I went to get the vitamins of some superfoods. So I got to these, <laughs> but if you want your hair to grow fast, I don't know. I don't know if it was just me, but they're, I used it for months and my hair was just flying. Uh, but now that my hair is short, I'd rather like, I'm trying to like leave it short for a little bit. Look at that. Derp. Um, I also picked up my favorite Ocean Spray Light um, Cranberry and Concord Grape Juice. I love a little glass of that in the morning. And... I also picked up my favorite. These are like probably not that good for you, but I love them. It's the Jimmy Dean Delights turkey sausage with um, scrambled egg whites, potatoes, turkey sausage, and cheese. <laughs> sausage and cheese. It only has 230 calories, and it has a ton of protein. It's kind of high in sodium though, so I try not to eat them often. But I love these, so I picked one up for me. I pick up like the healthy version for me, and then Alan gets the regular, um, like not turkey sausage or egg whites. Um, and then we just needed some cream cheese for Alan, and I think that's all. So that's my little grocery haul. Pouring snow, and I'm like really nervous about Alan driving home later. Oh, I need to turn on my Christmas tree. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, I need to take you down. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the vlog that I'm filming right now. I'm just trying to finish up my Tis the Season candle, and I made that new Tazo tea that I bought. Um, it's so good, I just took one sip. Look how cute this mug is. <laughs> my old boss made this for me um, back when I worked for her. She's so sweet. Wake up and make up, learning to be fearless. So cute. I still have my tree up <laughs> in my office. Uh, so I'm just texting Lily right now, and um, I just blew my nose. <laughs> All my makeup is gone. Well, anyway, hopefully in the next video or vlog that you see, I will be better um, and not sick anymore. But thank you guys for watching this vlog. I'm sure it ended up being really long <laughs> because, uh, I don't know. I just feel like this ended up being really long from yesterday and today. But I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. If you want to subscribe, you can click my face right here. <laughs> and you're beautiful. I hope you know that. <laughs> My red nose. All right, bye.